doctors, clinicians are supposed to be saving our lives. And that's what they have been doing under the oath for last several centuries. Today, they are ready to take up multi-dimensional roles. And that is why this video. So many clinicians, many doctors, many senior residents also approach me asking, should they learn bioinformatics? If yes, why? And uh, how can they learn? So this video will throw some light on both aspects. Now, first part of the video, we'll talk about why as a medical student, you should learn bioinformatics. More or less, the medical profession moves like you finish your graduation or the post-graduation and then you become a practicing clinician and then you treat patients, right? But that's a usual way. Now, in the usual way, there are drawbacks. And the drawbacks is you are handling patients, you are going to a hospital. So it's a well-established job, no doubt about it. But if you have some hunger inside you that you want to do something more than what other doctors are doing, then bioinformatics is definitely a yes for you. But what are the uses of bioinformatics for a practicing clinician or a practicing doctor? That is something we'll look at. Now, first things first, advancing the medical research. We always say that the doctors will prescribe the medicine and the researcher will do the research. But if you want to become a successful researcher, you need to have probably a medical exposure first and you as a doctor already have it. You can advance the medical profession, you can advance the research in the pharmaceutical sector by integrating bioinformatics into research. So as we say, bioinformatics is an integral part actually of the medical research right now. It is enabling uh, the analysis of large-scale biological data sets such as genomics, proteomics and transcriptomics. Now, as an MBBS graduate with bioinformatics skill, you can contribute to cutting-edge research in personalized medicine, disease mechanisms and drug development. So let's first deal with personalized medicine. Now, let's take some examples. Suppose cancer. So cancer is a disease where one size fits all doesn't work. For every patient is unique. Their treatment regimen will be unique. And so you have to really work on it. And that is where personalized medicine comes into picture. In fact, industry is moving towards that. So if you understand bioinformatics, it will allow you to tailor make medical treatments based on individual's genetic makeup. This approach improves the effectiveness of treatments and reduces adverse reactions. And that is what you as a doctor would desire that my patient should not get any adverse effect. Now, the second part of this would be obviously interpreting genomic data. With the rise of genomic sequencing, you already must be doing NGS in your you know, hospital setup or might be you're depending on some other diagnostic lab to do that for the patients. With the rise of genomic sequencing data in clinical settings, physicians and doctors are depending on other bioinformaticians to understand the genetic data. Uh, this slows down the process. So what if you learn bioinformatics and you can interpret the genetic data better and you can correlate with the medical diagnosis which is there and it will help you in the di diagnosis actually and it will help you manage the genetic disorder in a better way. So if you are a doctor who wants to give much better solutions to your patients, then bioinformatics is a must-have for you. The next thing which I think I should bring to your notice is improving diagnostics. Now, bioinformatics tools can enhance diagnostic processes by analyzing complex data sets from various sources. Now, these sources could be genetic sources, genetic tests biomarker studies and this will further lead to a better diagnosis. So current diagnostic tools are not better equipped for this but at the same time bioinformatics based diagnostic tools are much better equipped for this and that is where you can improve the diagnostics of the patient also by getting into bioinformatics. For a doctor actually to be very frank you have to always stay relevant to the industry you have to always stay relevant to the newer ways of doing things and that is where learning bioinformatics will make you a better candidate for AI-based treatment of the future. So in future, we are going to see artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning based models, which will be aiding the doctors and clinicians in treatment. And that is where if you learn bioinformatics, it will help you there as well. Your proficiency in bioinformatics will keep you abreast with technological advancements. You will understand things better. You will have the ability to utilize the newer diagnostic and therapeutic tools and that will pave way to more earnings and getting a job in a bigger hospital or a bigger laboratory setup. And that is what brings me to the last part of this video where I would like to highlight that being a doctor doesn't stop you from 
pursuing research opportunities. You can work in various biotech and pharma companies as an MBBS doctor. Learning bioinformatics can open diverse opportunities for you in the areas of cancer genomics, cancer research, infectious disease management, population health and distribution. And of course, as a MBBS graduate and a postgraduate, you can utilize your bioinformatics expertise in leading interdisciplinary projects, research projects where physics, chemistry and biology comes together. And if you learn, it will lead to a better enhancement in your career prospects. Bigger labs, bigger hospitals, bigger uh, pharma companies and biotech companies are always on a lookout for dynamic doctors who can work in their industry. So you can actually command and demand whatever salary you want if you learn bioinformatics as a MBBS doctor. This additional expertise also broadens your horizon to go abroad and work in bigger biotech and pharma companies like Pfizer, Illumina and other bigger companies. And of course, as a doctor, you always want to contribute more to the society. So you can get into epidemiology, you can utilize bioinformatics and epidemiology, virology, vaccine design, development and public health. And you can help uh, government track diseases better if you have a better understanding of AIML, bioinformatics and uh, machine learning. So these are the points I wanted to highlight today. Now, if you still have any further questions, feel free to put that in the comment section. Or you can also take training at Biotechnica. We train doctors and clinicians on bioinformatics, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Link is given in the description. Do check it out and reach out to me at shaker at biotechnica.org if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.